Aries, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading from the 8th to the 16th of May. This is going to be a general reading, so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Aries, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future. I'm going to clarify the cards for you and pull some advice. So past energy, current energy, near future. Okay. So your challenge for this week, Aries, is the six of wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the king of pentacles in reverse. Okay. King of Pentacles in reverse. All right. So your challenge for this coming week is the Six of Wands. So with the Six of Wands energy here, I'm really getting that a lot of you are finally achieving something great. You're achieving something big. You know, people are looking at you. People are watching you. They're like, wow, Aries, you accomplished this. You're amazing. Um, we're going to clarify and see what the challenge is for you moving forward with the Six of Wands in a moment. In the recent past, Aries, you have the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Six of Swords, and you have the Five of Wands. I'm really getting here in the past that uh, there was some sort of situation that you had to really stop and think in the past if you really wanted to invest any more time and energy into some sort of situation. It could have been a past relationship, maybe a job, just apply it to your situation. There was something here that you had already invested energy and time. Um, and you know, a lot of, a lot of whatever was happening in the past for you, let me just turn up the light so you can see. Um, a lot of what was happening in the past for you was, <sighs> It had a lot to do with some sort of conflict here, okay, that you had to possibly move away from, that you had to completely um, disengage with here, okay? We're going to clarify and see what this is all about. In the present moment, Aries, you have the Three of Swords, you have the Sun, and you have the Knight of Wands. There's definitely this energy here where something is developing, something is erupting. I see you taking action towards this situation. It's something that brings you a lot of happiness. But attached to this situation, Aries, is also a lot of pain, okay, which is at the top of your reading. We're going to clarify and see why the Three of Swords is here at the top of your reading, okay? In the near future, you have the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Cups, and you have the Justice card here. Something in the near future, okay, that you've been working on, that you've been um, you know, really focused on, something that has also been or has brought you a lot of opportunities is going to show up for you in the near future and it's actually part of your karma it's part of your justice that's coming in for you so we're going to clarify and see what this is all about what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck you have the king of pentacles in reverse you have the five of cups in reverse you have the seven of swords in reverse and you have the ten of wands in reverse with the nine of swords in reverse and the page of wands in reverse Whatever you are overcoming, it's finally over. Whatever harsh situation you were in, it's over. The cycle is over. Um, you're putting something behind you, okay, finally. And I think this is what's leading to your possible victory, okay? So let's do some clarification for you, Aries, and let's see what is going on for you. All right. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you is the Six of Wands. Okay, 
So the Six of Wands is clarified by the Four of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Swords in reverse, and you have the Eight of Wands in reverse, okay? For many of you, you um, your challenge this week has a lot to do with not allowing a specific situation to affect you, okay? You're not allowing some sort of situation to bog you down or affect you. Now, I feel like your challenge has a lot to do with maybe someone that you're not speaking to. Some of you are not communicating with a specific person. Maybe you've disengaged with someone um, that you were in a relationship with. There's something here about you disengaging from some sort of situation that has caused you a lot of anxiety. And what your focus is, and which is, you know, for many of you, your challenge this week has a lot to do with some sort of victory. You recognizing the power within yourself and doing whatever it takes for you to be victorious in yourself. And if, you know, if someone wants to come along with you and be victorious with you, they can come along with you. But if not, I see you disengaging from something here that really isn't serving you. Okay, eight of wands in reverse, there's a lack of communication, nine of swords in reverse, you're not allowing some sort of situation, this is your challenge this week, Aries, is not to allow some sort of situation that is outside of your control to affect your emotional energy, your passionate energy, um, just everything in general. It's like you are recognizing the power within yourself, and you're taking that energy and you're focusing your energy there. That's your challenge, okay? Some of you are going to get tied up into whatever is affecting you on the outside, but it's all about what's going on inside rather than what's going on on the outside because if you can fix what's going on inside, you're able to kind of manipulate and manifest what you want in the outer realms, okay? So this is your challenge for this coming week, okay? So let's talk about the past. Let's get into it and let's see uh, what happened in the past for you. I'm going to clarify the seven of pentacles here in the past, So the seven of pentacles in the past, in the recent past, is clarified by the tower, the king of pentacles, and the magician, okay? There you are. For many of you, you're trying to manifest some sort of situation, okay? This could have a lot to do with some sort of financial situation. Some of you are manifesting or creating something. What I'm getting here, okay, I'm going to be very straightforward with you, Aries, is that for many of you, you experienced something that really broke your spirit in the past. It really affected you on a very big level, okay? Whether you shared this with people or not, some of you didn't share it with anybody, it was just something that was happening within you. You took your power back with the magician here and the king of pentacles. A lot of you started to realize in the recent past that a situation that caused a lot of conflict five of wands it, it created a lot of conflict it created a lot of issues for you you needed to move away from this situation a lot of you chose in the recent past to take your power back by removing yourself from a situation that really um was filled with a lot of conflict drama chaos okay and you said no more i'm going to remove myself from this there was a lot of conflict here in the past is what this is telling you okay so in the present moment someone here is heartbroken okay they're in a lot of pain here I don't feel like this is you. It could be you. Um, but I feel like this is a person you're dealing with. It could be um, an air sign. Okay, I'm getting Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This person's heartbroken. I'm going to clarify the three of swords and see what message is here with the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here in the present moment? Okay. So the Three of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Pentacles and we have the Hangman. Someone here desires, okay? I don't feel like this is you. It could be I'm getting Air Sign, Aquarius, Super Gemini. I'm getting Pisces here and I'm also getting Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. This person, um, it's someone who's heartbroken over you. They're devastated that you left in the recent past. They're devastated that you disconnected from this um, relationship. And this person is really wanting, pining almost for a new beginning, okay? They're hoping for this with the Ace of Pentacles here, but they're not taking action towards you, okay? So for many of you, you're trying to figure out, well, if they wanted me, Monica, why don't they take action towards me? This person's afraid of taking action towards you, okay? Um, a lot of you are very in and out with this person or you're very on and off. Sometimes you're there, sometimes or not let me clarify the knight of wands i feel like there's a very important message here for you aries we're going to see what your important message is with the knight of wands here what is your very important message here Okay, 
So the Knight of Wands, your very important message in the present moment for you is the Hierophant, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Cups, okay? For many of you, you are... Um, the reason why this person is heartbroken in the present moment, whoever you're dealing with here, is because this person really wants marriage with you. Someone here wants a commitment with you, okay? Hierophant. This person sees you as a wife. They see you as a husband. They see you as someone that they want to commit themselves to. Could be a Taurus that you're dealing with in the present moment. Could be a Leo. I'm also getting a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person, um, they may come towards you in the present moment very on and off, okay? Very watery energy, emotional. But this person has a problem really expressing their emotions, okay? They could even come towards you being a little bit resistant or maybe you're a little resistant towards this person but the beautiful energy here that keeps this person um wanting a connection with you a very deep connection is what i'm getting here is the sun there's a lot of potential here wherever the sun is in the in the reading is really illuminating a lot of light uh, in this area. So the reason why this person is sad or heartbroken is because for many of you, you're either not giving this person another chance or they feel like they lost a chance or opportunity with you. And you've been very on and off with this person. So this person in the present moment doesn't really know where they stand with you. Okay. But what I can tell you is that this person wants a commitment with you. Okay. They like the fact that you're very elusive or you're not always available. That's actually what draws this person in and they do the same thing to you. Like there's a lot of on and off here. Okay, so, you know, for many of you, there is a strong potential here. Let me clarify the sun and let's see what potential this connection um, possibly has in the present moment. Let me clarify the sun. Okay, so the sun is clarified by the king of wands, the ten of swords and the five of cups. Yeah, so for many of you, this person, um, it's interesting because a lot of you right now, Aries, I feel like you're, you're, you're ending something in the present moment. It could be with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Meanwhile, you have another energy here. So I feel like for many of you, there's someone here who has a lot of potential. I don't feel like this is the same person. I feel like this is somebody that either you've ended things with or you've disconnected um, from them. But in this person's eyes, this person who feels very... Uh, heartbroken over you possibly being with someone else someone new here uh, this person they feel like it's over okay Th there's a lot of regret here you know but there's something about your energy that makes this person really happy this is a person from the past so this person is seeing you move on and it's very difficult for you for this person at this time to see you moving on okay so this is what's happening in the present moment i'm going to clarify the near future and we're going to see what's happening for you in the near future i'm going to clarify the seven of cups in the near future So the Seven of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Cups, the Hermit, and the Six of Cups. Yes, for many of you in the near future, um, there's a lot of fulfillment here. You're getting justice, the justice that you truly deserve because you finally put in the work in the near future. I think a lot of you, what's going to happen in the near future is there's a water sign here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'm also getting Libra or Virgo here. Okay. There's someone here that you really, really love and like, and they really like you. And you start to realize in the near future, even though there's a lot of options. Okay. In the near future areas, you got options. You got, you know, you can go with this person, this person, you can pretty much be with whoever you want, but there's one particular person. Okay. With the six of cups here that you cannot seem to get off your mind in the near future. And you start to think is this really my person is this the person i'm supposed to be with yes this is your person okay you have the justice card here for everything that you've went through in the past with this air sign aquarius libra gemini in the past okay maybe another fire sign leo sagittarius aries you went through a very difficult tumultuous situation in the past in their future you finally attract someone who brings justice into your life the scales start to balance okay this is why what you don't see coming is you releasing something completely Okay, you're completely releasing something. So what is your karma? What is the good karma that's coming in uh, for you? A lot of it has to do with a soulmate that you're finally meeting, someone that you that makes you feel good. They make you feel great. Okay, let me clarify the justice card. Wow, okay. 
So the justice, which is your good karma that's coming in, this is what you've been working towards in the near future. And for many of you, there's going to be a family here that, that you create or that you come together with. And the message here for you with the justice card is nine of wands. We have the three of wands and the 10 of cups. You are going to be called in the near future to try again. Okay. After all of the pain that you've gone through, you're going to be called to start new, fresh here, not to completely give up on your idea of love because what's coming in for you in the near future is a serious commitment, a connection, 10 of cups, the fulfillment that you've always wanted. Okay. You're finally looking out on the horizon with the three of wands here and you're able to really make plans and have the life that you've always wanted here. Okay. So this is about you not feeling bad about moving forward, not feeling bad that things didn't work out in a, in a, in a connection that maybe you were once connected to. It was very difficult for you to let go of this, but I think, you know, this reading is just confirming you being able to move forward okay so let me um clarify or not clarify let's get some advice for you what is the advice for you wow direct advice for you is the four of swords we have the father which is the emperor in this deck and we have the magician you're being called right now to bring stability to your life to take your power back finally and I feel like that's what you're doing, okay? And we have the Four of Swords here. So a lot of you are being called to heal, to rest, to rejuvenate your body, to release some sort of past energy, you know, whether that's through salt baths, whether that's through eating healthy, you're releasing something because what your focus should be on, this is the advice, is stability and taking your power back from a situation where you felt powerless, okay? So Aries, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.